Alright, let's see if we can get this guy. Come on, baby. Please catch him on fire here. Good old Gaston. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good hit. If we can connect it. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome back to World of Warships. Today we're going to be battling out on the seas and checking out what this awesome naval warfare game has to offer. Now before I get too deep into this video, I just want to thank Wargaming for supporting me by sponsoring this video and giving me the chance to check out this awesome game once again. Now if you're interested in learning anything more about World of Warships as you watch this video, there will be a link at the top of the description as well as a code for new players, which is Play Warships 2018, which unlocks a bunch of stuff for you guys, you'll see it on the screen now, which is just some awesome stuff to get you started off in World of Warships. Now, if you don't know what World of Warships is, it is a free-to-play naval warfare game made by Wargaming, the same people behind World of Tanks and World of Warplanes, where you are pitted off against another team of real-world players. Now, there's also a co-op mode, but the main focus is player versus player naval warfare combat. It's absolutely awesome, and today we're going to check out some of the larger ships in the game. Now, let's waste no time and get into it and check out World of Warships. All right, and we're gonna start off this one in style, going right to the big guns. We got the Tier 10 Japanese Yamato here, a legendary battleship. Hell, the biggest battleship ever created, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing with it today. Now, I wouldn't suggest you do this being a new player. I am indeed a new player as well. I will warn you guys ahead of time, but I have been practicing, and we might be able to get a few kills with this thing. But yeah, if you are indeed a new player, I would suggest you stick around with, like, the cruisers or something like that. You definitely definitely don't want to go into this territory, but I do, because, I mean, look at it. It's fantastic. Uh, let's give it a shot. We're going to start off with a co-op battle here. This is where you can work together with a team to take down AI opponents. That's what I would suggest you do if you are a new player, and then you can go into random battles la later with real-world players. So, yeah, we're going to try it out and see how well we can do with the big tier 10s. All right, and here we are on the battlefield, ladies and gentlemen. Now, like I said, this is just a bot battle for right now. I think I have, yeah, one other player on my team. Good old Rat Furry Tacos. Uh, he should be helping me out here. And hopefully we can take this win against a bunch of bots. But uh, check out how good this ship looks. I mean, it is a huge mammoth of a beast. And we're going to head over. Looks like we got another Yamato over at the, in the distance here. Let's see if we can actually... Uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to hit him over that hill, but... Uh, I will go out to A and see if I can uh, meet up with another fellow Yamato. The Hindenburg over here. Let's see if we can get this guy down. I'm going to drop my shot down to about there. Hopefully. Oh, he's turning. He's turning right into it. This could end badly for this guy. Uh, maybe I should be using HE shells. I'm using AP right now. That could do a Citadel hit, though, which will give me lots and lots of damage. Okay, so he's 12 kilometers out. That's going to take six seconds to hit him. So we're going to bleed our shot about that far and see if we can... Hit this guy with this good old Hindenburg here. There we go. Direct hit. Uh, our first hit of the day. Now, I'm more curious about this other Yamato over here. I want to have a Yamato on Yamato battle. We're not going to be able to hit any of these guys anyways. So, let's go try and contest A. All right. It looks like my teammate did indeed take out the Yamato. So, uh, I guess we don't have to contest with that guy. Now, I am far away from all the enemies here. I'm not even going to go for A. It looks like uh, we're on a four-on-four -four right now with two real players against four bots, so we should be totally fine. This guy is over the mountain, unfortunately, as you can see on the map, so I'm not going to be able to hit him. These guys, this mountain's just too far in my way, so I'm going to have to uh, get to the middle here. Okay, and there we go. We got the Baltimore right in front of us. We're going to try and use some HE to put him on fire. That's not going to help too much. Uh, is that my other teammate? Oh, yeah, that's uh, that's another real player over there. Did another player join? No, we actually had two. The other uh, player did get knocked out, unfortunately, though, so I'm going to Try and uh, basically broadside this guy. You really shouldn't do this against real players, but with bots, I don't think we're going to run a risk here. And, well, we connected one at least, but uh, that was definitely not a good shot. There we go. We're going to hit right in the back of him. Uh, I should probably wait for him to turn around, but that's totally fine. We are taking him down from all sides, and uh, he's not going to last too much longer with uh, Kura also attacking this guy. All right, going in for the kill. Let's see if we can get it there. See if we can get lucky and indeed get it. Yes, and there we go. We took the warship down. All right, just one more left. The good old Lexington, which was the guy that we ID'd over here. So I should come into spotting distance, hopefully pretty soon here. 
Uh, looks like my teammate's saying well done, you know, I will say that back. A good old well done to you as well, my good sir. Let's see if we can take this guy out. Okay, so there he is. Uh, he's 16 kilometers out, so that's going to take 11 seconds of bullet time. So I want to put that 11 right in the middle, and there we go. Hopefully, my HE shot should hit there. Uh, we will judge distance here based on how fast he's going. He's actually looking like he's going quite slow. So my next shot, yeah, should be a better connection here. All right, yeah, looks like he's almost actually stopped. So I think I'm going to go for a straight shot here because I think he's trying to back up maybe. And it's hard to tell from this distance. We should be good for a connection here, though. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully he catches on fire. If not, I'm going to try and hit him again. Yes, indeed, he did not catch on fire. But that is totally fine. It looks like, yeah, he's trying to back up. This is the aircraft carrier. So not too much of a risk for me right now. I guess I should probably use AP. I don't know uh, the armor of uh, certain ships in this game just yet, as I am a new player. But obviously with low armor, you generally want to use AP, I believe. Unless it's too low. And then I, hear, I guess you can blow right through the ships. I have been trying to learn as I do play this. Uh, did we catch it on fire that time? No, indeed, we did not. We are pushing up towards him, though. And, uh, he's close to half health. Alright, I'm gonna switch over to AP after this shot, just to see the difference here. Maybe we can get a lucky hit. Uh, that's a nice spread of bullets. We should have a nice connection there of a few of those. And, hopefully... Ah, did not catch it on fire! I'm just waiting for that fire catch! Alright, so we got some APs now. These should go deeper into the hull, but, uh, there's a less risk for catching fire. But... Maybe we can get some good damage here. There we go. There's a connection, and that was about 5,000 damage right there. Not bad, not bad, but we got to hit it, get a better shot than that to take this guy down. Looks like my teammate's coming in with some bombers, so hopefully he can do some damage to him as I do slowly reload my uh, cannons here. So there we go. He's trying to hit him down. I want to see if that bomber actually hits here. Looks like it is going in for a hit, and... It did do a little bit of damage, but not enough to take it down. He's still got 17k health. I am not connecting my shots here. He is directly sideways to us, though. It looks like we got some torpedoes coming in as well. And that's going to basically take this guy down so I can get the final hit. So here we go. Reloading, and hopefully I can get 2,000 uh, damage. Let's see here. A little bit of an off-center shot, but... Actually, that was a good connection there. And there we go. Two ships down in my co-op experience. Not too bad. A little bit of a practice round there to, uh, you know, get my aiming all set up. And I feel pretty good now. We got uh, 25 target hits, six planes shot down, two destroyed, and three set on fire. So not bad. Let's go back to port. All right, and we're going to stick in the Yamato and try our luck at a random battle. So this is with real players now. I'm feeling pretty good. So hopefully, you know, I can stand a little bit of a chance at least. All right, and here we are in our first battle. Now we're on Hotspot, which is a standard battle right now. Just a simple um, try and capture the point or take out the team. So what I'm going to be doing is, first of all, I want to see which way these guys are going. It looks like some of these guys are going to the right. I'm going to stick with these islands over here and use these things as cover, I think. Uh, but I do want to get up to the front lines. I think as a battleship, some people say you can stay out in the back and snipe, which you indeed can, but uh, you also are the tanks of your team, so you generally want to stay out in front, and uh, hopefully I can do that there, here and uh, see what we can do. All right, looks like we got some action over here. We got a, a bearing that is not in a good position right now. Uh, I have no idea how far he was out, so I'm going to try and judge the shot to the best of my ability. Is he down? Ah, uh, yeah, he just got taken down. <laughs> okay, that didn't take long at all. We got another guy. Oh, another guy over here. Unfortunately, I'm losing spots all over the place, so I'm trying to keep an eye out for the best I can. And, uh, that's usually not good enough. All right, this guy should be good over here. We gotta wait for our turrets, though. Nope, 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 nope. Finally, this guy came back in visual. Let's see if we can take this guy down. So he is, uh, 10,000 HP. Come on, let's see if we can get a lucky hit here. That would be great. 9.3 kilometers out. That might be... Oh, come on. Yeah, got him down. First shot, first kill. Not too bad. All right, I'm not going to try and get my broadside too sideways because I got four people that have detected me, uh, and we got a lot of people fighting me right now. So this is not good for me. Let's see if we can hit this guy if we get lucky. Uh, that's going to take a pretty crazy shot to hit that. I don't know how fast he's going. Hopefully those things connect. I'm going to slow down and try and kind of camp around this island until I get my bearings here because I got people all around me. And there we go. We got a bunch of target hits right there too. Uh, not too bad. We are able to hit this guy. So let's try again here. We're going to judge. 
Uh, we do. Unfortunately, long reload times in the Yamato. That's the one downside. We're on fire. Repair that, and let's heal ourselves as well so we can blow that cooldown so it's re resets. All right, I'm pushing up. I got uh, quite a few support around me, so this is good. And uh, we're going to take a little bit of a risk here. Can my turrets get there quick enough? Uh, I, I think I'm too far sideways to get my turrets there, unfortunately. So that guy... Well, let's see if we can get a connection at least. I'm probably going to hit that mountain. But can we hit it? Ah, looks like I just missed. Oh, I did actually get a target hit. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to try and judge where this guy's going to go and hit him as well once again. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on. I think that was a bit high. It was, but we can still connect it. And... Oh, I just went over it. Okay, so got to do it a little bit lower than that. There we go. This will be a good hit, though. We're on fire once again, unfortunately. That's not good for us. But we got 30 seconds on our cooldown, and ooh, we are not doing good right now. The Yamato is damaged quite a bit. I put myself too far in the open here, and it looks like most of my teammates moving back. So that was a mistake on my part, and uh, I am fully willing to admit that. Let's see if we can get one more good hit off before I go down. This guy's also on fire, so if we can get a lucky hit, I'm... 50,000 HP is a lot of HP, though. There we go. 2,000 HP down and repair this thing. We're low health, but we're still in the game. And maybe I can fight this guy a little bit. Let's try and turn this so we don't hit the damn um, island. And I think I'm going to still hit it. I'm still really focused on trying to get this thing all set up. Unfortunately, my guns are just not fast enough. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, yeah, we're totally fine. All right, we got a guy looking pretty low down here. Oh, he just got taken out. Perfect. Now, we got two guys rather healthy over on the distance here. Looks like this guy is moving in the uh, direction opposite of me. But once my uh, turrets get in range, we should be good to get a nice shot off on this guy. Hopefully, we can get a good shot here. And uh, unfortunately, he's 12 kilometers away. So this is going to take... You know what? I'm going to go for this guy because he's going much slower. So let's see if we can connect that. And... At least hit one of these guys. I want to connect to the other ship. He is on fire, so that's good for us. Um, I don't have to worry about turning on fire. I'm going to turn my hull a bit because I'm directly broadside right now. I do not want to be a big target, especially with how little health I have. Let's actually heal up a little bit as well. And this could be very bad for this guy. Come on, baby. Is he moving in the water? I thought, I thought he was totally still. Clearly not. But we did hit him a little bit. All right, we'll just have to judge ahead of time. And uh, the next shot should be good. Okay, and there we go. Come on, baby. He's not going. Oh, he's, he's picking up speed. All right, 14.5 kilometers is going to take me um, eight seconds to get there. So I should probably be doing it more towards around here. And here it comes. I'm going to take a hit here. This could hurt. Oh, I'm down to very low amounts of health. I'm going to need to get a lucky shot here to take this guy down. There we go. That knocked out one of his guns at least. That's good. And how's my hull on this guy? Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm a small target. That's important. Is he slowing down? It's very hard to tell, but I think he's slowing down. Ooh, we got torpedoes coming in. This is going to be bad for this guy. I'm going to still go ahead a little bit. Uh, are these torpedoes going to hit him? Oh, there we go. I'm down. Did we hit him, though? Oh, we got him down to 2,000. 1,400 health. Looks like he's going down as well. So, yeah, 32,000 damage is nothing to uh, brag about, but we did get one kill. All right, so the Yamato was fun, but admittedly, it is a little bit too high tiered for me. I still need to learn the game, you know, placements, things like that. And you learn that over time by practicing. And uh, I was lucky enough to get a press account to check out these things. So I definitely don't have the experience that the opposition did indeed have. So with that in mind, I actually dropped down to, I believe this is tier five. This is the Omaha. This is a tier, yeah, tier five cruiser. Now, I much prefer the, the cruiser gameplay. It's basically like a jack of all trades where it, kind of plays like a battleship, but it also has torpedoes, and uh, you move a lot faster. So uh, we're going to give this thing a shot, see how good it is, and something that's more catered to, I would say, my skill level. All right, and here we are in the Omaha. This should be something that's catered more towards my skill level, so I'm kind of excited about this. We're going to try and take C with, uh, looks like uh, both of these guys are probably going to be coming over here, so that should be good. And uh, yeah, now we're in a cruiser. This is much more enjoyable, at least in my personal opinion, because you got faster turrets, you got a faster ship. It's basically a jack-of-all-trades ship. You also have torpedoes to play with, and they're always fun. All right, let's pop off a spread of torpedoes. So you have two different uh, ways to do this, and I just want some, kind of like a warning shot here to see if there's anybody over on this yonder. I have been detected, so that's a good sign. That means there could be some people over there, and we're going to flip this sideways, and I might actually pull back a little bit. No, you know what? 
I, I'm going to keep going here. And hopefully these torpedoes can open up to something. All right, and we do got a guy in the distance. My torpedoes might be in range of him, so let's give a shot here. See how we can do. Oh, 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 okay. A little bit further, a little bit further. He's going to try and churn a little bit. That's totally fine. Check it out quickly. The reload is on this thing, though. It's great. All right, let's start turning on my broadside so we can get some more cannons on it. Oh, we're going to have a good fight here. This is going to be crazy. Oh, this will be a connection. This will be a real good connection. There we go. Hit him down for a little bit. And going in for another one. Come on. I want to light this guy on fire if I can. Just missed him. I did hit one there. Let me make sure I'm okay. Oh, I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm not good. All right. Try and turn this as I'm fighting these guys because uh, you got to do 10 things at once in this game. That's for damn sure. Oh, where we're going in for a hit. That's fine. We, we still should be okay. And it actually will stop us and allow us to go backwards pretty damn quickly. All right. There we go. Let's drop some uh, things off on this guy too. There we go. And hopefully those torpedoes do something, but that's fine if they don't. There we go. We got an enemy warship down. I am backing up. Uh, looks like he dropped some torpedoes as well. Let's uh, try and pull this back. We have some fog here, so I'm going to back up into the fog. Uh, this will cover my uh, ship and allow me to hide out. And then I'm going to put it into main gear so we can actually move forward. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty far ahead of everybody, so I'm going to back up and go back up with the team. All right, and we do got some enemies. Their smoke did wear off, so there we go. Let's try and judge this to the best of our ability. Oh, oh, that's not going to be a good hit. Perfect hit right there. Direct hit, so we are on target. If we can catch them on fire, that would be great. I'm just stopped in the water right now. They're not shooting me, but I am going to start moving so I can uh, try and make my hull not such an appetizing piece of uh, equipment. All right, there we go. We caught them on fire. That's what I wanted to see, and I'm going to go to APs now. And see if we can uh, take this guy down a little bit. It looks like he's not able to put out his fire. That's what I wanted. And he's slowing down. So I'm going to try and get closer. Try and lead these the best if I can. And come on, baby. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be real good. Yeah, not bad. We hit him a few times. He's still moving. All right, I'm going to have to start moving here because they are taking some damage to me. Watch out. We got some torpedoes coming. I'm going to try and avoid these guys to the best of my ability. Come on, baby. All right, come on. Keep hitting them. Uh, I'm gonna go right through the middle of these things. I should be okay. And let me just make sure. Yep, we're, we're good. We're totally good. And this guy's back on fire, so that's good. Come on, baby. Well, these might land. One of them maybe will. Oh, did we get a ricochet? We did get a ricochet there. That's unfortunate. I am using the AP round, so surprising we actually did get a ricochet. All right, let's turn to have more, more cannons in it because this guy's getting pretty low. And... There we go. Come on, baby. 7,000's all I need. Is 7,000 going to be enough? I took a hit for this, but... Oh, man. I just missed a little bit there. Come on, baby. I, I need to get him quick. I'm going to hit this wall really, really soon if we don't get him. That's fine. He's, he's really low health, though, so it's no big deal. And I'm going to start pulling back a little bit here. Turret is critically damaged. This guy, he's not doing much better. There we go. We opened it up, and... Uh, did I judge that right? I think I did. I think I did. Oh, he's got 780. There we go. We should be good. He's going to try and turn and avoid it. But will one connect? No, man. This guy is just on his last legs. There we go. We got him down. No big deal. Now I'm going to pull back because I'm a little bit too close for comfort. And my teammates are way back. So I'm going to go around this thing because I got too many guys in front of me. But I'll try and throw some shots off too. See if we can, of course, do some damage here. There we go. A little bit of damage. Not too bad. Just keep the laying down the law the best of my ability. And, oh man, I gotta say, I love cruisers, man. It's just, it's much more fast-paced. This guy's on fire. He's not even looking at me, so I'm actually going to uh, start slowing down. See if I can actually help these guys out. There we go. Come on, get some shots off. Unfortunately, the island is in my way, and uh, I'm not gonna slow down quick enough, so I'm actually just gonna go around this island and see if I can support these guys over here, surprise anybody that may be on this other side. Let's cha change back to HE, though. Uh, I'm not getting lucky with the AP shots. I was hoping to get some um, Citadel hits, but uh, yeah, I guess they're harder to hit than, than uh, what it seems. But we got uh, a few kills already, 20,000 damage. I'm feeling pretty good about that, uh, being that I am a new player. So I'm trying to keep up with these guys, and uh, it's going pretty well. All right, no idea what's over this corner. So we're just going to throw some more torpedoes out. I know there was some ships out here. So I'm just trying to get a lucky shot, basically. I'm not getting close enough to actually utilize my torpedoes. Um, but I am a cruiser, so I don't really think that's my main focus. Again, cruisers are pretty much jack-of-all-trades, so 
how far is this guy? Am I actually able to... Oh, he's just in range. Let's see. He's going to turn back around. We can try and get a hit here if we get lucky. Don't know if that will be. He's actually really, really fast, as you can see. So he should be out of the way well ahead of time. See if we can help out, though, and try and get some shots off. All right. We got him back again. And let's see. Ooh, what the hell just hit me? Okay, I got some guys fighting me over there. I'm going to keep my hull towards them so they have a harder hit to hit. And we'll see if we can take this guy down. He's only got 7,000 health left, so if we can get a lucky shot off, which that indeed is. Yes! There we go. 2,000 damage there. Come on, baby. Come on. Give, give, give me a lucky shot. Citadel. Please, a Citadel. I, I, need to, I think I need to go lower. The Citadels are pretty low in the water, which is, uh, I believe, their boiler room as well as their ammo storage. Oh, crap. I'm taking heavy damage. Can we take this guy out at least? Oh, man. Okay. I am really in the open. Did we take that guy down, though? I think... Somebody else, unfortunately, got it, so, uh, yeah, not too bad, though. I think that was pretty damn good. 26,000 damage, and I did take out... Was it two of them? Ah, I actually only destroyed one. We almost got that guy at the end, though, and we did help out a lot. All right, guys, and that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of World of Warships. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, checking out some of the high tiers and middle tiers in this very awesome naval warfare game. Now, I do want to thank, once again, Wargaming for sponsoring this video. It does help the channel, and I really do appreciate it. Feel free to check out the uh, link in the description if you are interested in this game, and uh, don't forget to use that code if you are a new player. Thanks so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.